Who was Deep Throat? I don't know. I, of course you don't know, but who do you think? My assumption is that it is Mark Felt, but that's uh, a popular assumption. We knew that Mark Felt was leaking FBI information, or we were told that Mark Felt was leaking FBI information. If Mark Felt was uh, a deputy director or associate director of the FBI, and uh, we understood he was providing information to an individual in the Washington press. You hate to let the words Washington Post pass your lips, don't it you? It wasn't the Washington Post, it was, was Time it? Magazine. Oh. Who, he was feeding it to, to Time? Mm -hmm. To a reporter at And time. Deep Throat was not feeding it to Bernstein and Woodward? Well, for all I know, that's my assumption that, that uh, I, mean, I assume... They, they, are, they are the people. Right, well, let me give you my reasoning on Deep Throat. I assume that Deep Throat is somebody at the FBI because it's clearly somebody who, at least if you believe Woodward and Bernstein, uh, and what they say Deep Throat told them. Uh, if he did tell them that, if there is a Deep Throat, uh, then it was somebody who wasn't at the White House because what they were told somebody in the inn at the White House would not have said. He would have known differently. So the FBI would be the only place that had enough knowledge and yet limited knowledge in, the, in terms of White House realities uh, to provide the kind of information they got. And my assumption is that the that the FBI leaker is felt because uh, it's my understanding he was leaking in one direction and I assume if you leak here you can leak there. Now that's that's uh, apparently he leaked better to the Washington Post, best of all to the Washington Post. Uh, not necessarily. There were other people leaking to the Washington Post too. Well, I know, but you, the Washington Post broke the story. Don't you agree? The Washington Post printed the leaks, some of which turned out to be correct, some of which didn't as they know and have, have almost directly said in their book, they were totally wrong on their October story on me. Ron Ziegler apologized to the Washington Post. Another error. It was an error for Ron Ziegler to apologize? Why? It, on an, on an all-out basis, because the Post was, was often wrong. And in some of Ron's, and particularly Ron, the, the extrapolation has been that Ron's apology was for his major tirade against the Post, which was in connection with the story the Post ran on me, which was a false story. And Ron's tirade on that story was totally justified, in my opinion, and didn't deserve an apology.